Another day, another video. Uh, more quick play. Last time the audio was pretty bad. Hopefully this time is a lot better. Hope the matches are better too because last time the first two was kind of lame. Okay, we got a match. Interesting name. Just a period. I like that. Okay. I think I'm going to play... I think I'm just gonna play this. Yeah. I have not played her yet, so it's good to get some gameplay. Okay, I could build. Hmm. So you can't build a wagon to turn that you build a merfolk. So I think a merfolk is a lot, uh, a lot more useful than a wagon right now. So I spawned my soldier here because it could reach, uh, could reach this town. And my uh, my goal with this merfolk is to just mess with him. So I could capture these two. And then contest the top. Okay. So he basically did the same. I'm going to capture this one. Because the rest of my units can, uh, can get to there along the way. Because I'm just building merfolk and soldiers right now, I would have enough income eventually to get a harpy. But right now, I want to focus on capturing the buildings uh, for income. Okay, he's following what I'm doing. So what I'll do right now is... Okay, first of all, I want to see what he does with his soldier. He wants to cover his building, which is good. Moving up. So I'm going first. I don't have to build anti-air first. I could build my own harpy and then force him to... Uh, hmm. That's interesting. All right. Okay, he's not in range. So I will never lose out on a uh, what's it called? A port build because there's only one port per player. And it's super important to control the waters here. You, if you don't control the waters, you lose these three buildings. And then if you lose those buildings, you're going to lose. The plan was to save up our harpy up top. So I am not going to build a knight. Move it up. So he didn't build an amphibian or merfolk last turn. Instead, he chose to build a ranger, which is not good for him, at least. Because this means that I get to control the bottom of the, the water, and potentially I could get some merfolk up here and start contesting with the rivers. Doesn't go for air. He went for the income buildings, which is fine. So 
it's gonna be rainy next turn so he wouldn't be able to reach these two because he didn't capture the air tower my harpy will be extra threatening because I could just start hitting the commander Be. Uh, hmm. Okay, because it's out of range, I want to start harassing. Not gonna capture the building. Not gonna capture the building because uh, it just puts too many units to be hit. So this is fine. It's like a little small compromise. I mean, I do lose out on some units here, but it's not a big deal because I have the better unit count. So even if he gets first attack, I can finish him off. Still keep my merfolk. And heal from the town. Because he captures with the soldier. Uh, his archer can't move up and attack. So he made the decision to not attack and capture instead. So he lost out 100 gold there. Which is a good trade for me already. Moves out of range of my uh, soldier. So right now he still can't build air units. Even though he has more income than me. Uh, he's going to be really scared of this harpy. So right now. Um, I don't have to commit to the land units here all I have to do is damage one of them which is the pikemen if I could damage the pikemen with one of my soldiers then it's good or capture the building with the soldier all right okay merfolk He's one behind, which is not good for him, because eventually I will overrun him. So I want to get favorable engagements. Okay, how should I do this? Be in range of both of them. Hmm. Because it counterattacks, it doesn't matter what tile I attack it on. So I'd rather attack it on a tile that's closer to my units. I should finish that off. Mm. 
Okay. I need to just keep making more folk every turn. Okay, that's quite unfortunate, but oh well. Here I will build. Huh. Thirty seconds. Let me think about this. Build a range. Mm. Yeah. What is the plan here? He has the ranger. He has a whole bunch of ground units. Two versus four. 3.5 losing up here he builds a builds a sky rider that's a really big investment for him because it's only one harpy I guess he could chase it down, but let me see. I have enough income to make one myself. Put his archer in the range of my merfolk which is a good trade for me already all i have to do is heal these up merfolk down um, I will keep one up here one soldier up there forty percent seventy percent it will be in range Oh. 25%, 25%. I think getting rid of the archer is the biggest threat right now. Uh well the biggest um the goal the goal right now is to get rid of the archer. If it be encountered is also uh, quite a problem. So if I'm going to get rid of the archer, I'm going to play it like this. We'll crit. But that's okay. So I'm trading with a more full count for an archer. Because I'm getting my uh, getting my heartbeat down there. Hmm. Let's 
just want to keep my archer alive. Build an alchemist because I could potentially heal both of them. Potentially. It's really hard though because I'm probably going to lose them right here. So it's extra important I keep my uh, archer alive here. He loses that 100 gold from the base again. Okay. I mean, he has to choose which one he has to get rid of. Because he will damage one to like 20%. Maybe like 10%. Yeah, okay. And then he has to choose one of them to get rid of. Okay. Which is good for me. So that means that I could heal one of at least one of them to full. Built a knight. Okay, fair move. Good against Merfolk, have to remember that. So right now, I don't have to, uh, I don't have to commit. I just need to take as many shots I can, as I can with the archer. Hmm. This doesn't reach. Attack will be five percent, sixty percent. Ah, I am attacking in deep water though. Okay, so attack here ten thirteen. This one, this can reinforce. Move this back. Cannot reach, cannot reach. This might be a problem, but I'll deal with it later. I could take this down, but I think it's just better to uh, wait and back off. He builds a knight. Hmm. Pikeman, knight. I could match it with my own knight or pikeman. I think matching with pikemen. No, I'm matching with a knight. Uh, and okay, I'm trying to keep my archer alive. Getting a crit on a pikeman on a road is not always a bad idea. Because you get first hit, it'll be weakened. And after the counter attack, your knight will be uh, healthy. You don't always have to... Uh, don't always have to be scared about pikemen with your knights. Uh, 
Uh, he attacks my alchemist. That was a really strange play. Alchemist is not a, to me right now, it's not a big tool compared to the archer. The archer is the main, main threat to him right now. I guess he does want his Sky Rider to be safer in a way because this is damaged. But I don't think, um, I don't think trading a Merfolk for a trading a Merfolk for a damaged Alchemist. I don't think that was a good trade for him. So, what should I do here? Do this. Oh, I messed up. I wanted to move my, uh, I wanted to move my Archer. Now I guess I have to cover it. Could get rid of one of his merfolks. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Which Merfolk though? Um, second thought, maybe not. this over here if he wants a hex sure um <sighs> yeah it's a maybe i'm giving him too much respect i'm not going aggressive enough i think i have to go more aggressive Wow, that's super scary. Oh no, that's that's super scary. <laughs> oh. Oh, that is not good for me. That's really not good for me. I mean, I am winning at bottom, but uh, that's gonna be a very okay. I have to get have to get this. This is eight movement. Three four. One of three four. Okay, this is way worse than I thought. Just time to go in. 
can't. I can't wait any longer. He committed up top. So I have to commit right here. Oh, I panicked. Ah, uh, I'm not. I'm not making good plays. I am not making good plays. I panicked. Oops. Twenty. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it's gonna be a big problem. It's gonna be a very big problem here. Okay, okay. Okay, you put his. Uh, what's it called? Put his Sky Rider there so that he, his dragon wouldn't be uh, critted, which is a good play for him, from him. How much money can I get? 900 I'll get a second sky rider yeah what I wanted to do there was to cover for my archer his pikeman was in range to hit my archer but then I guess that was fine Oh, but then he could hit my archer with his knight. Alright. Not a bad trade. Ballista. Thirty percent. This could deal ten percent, but that's not enough. So Have to get a second one. Have to get a second one. I'll move it up because they won't get critted if the witch wants to hit. Reinforce, put it on a mountain tile. Okay, so this for sure goes here. Can move this back. Attack. Um. Okay.
Uh, I really wanted to attack Harper there, but the ballista is covering everything well. Okay. Nothing much I could do. If he doesn't cover his commander properly, he will get sniped off. Double hex is 20% damage. I do have enough income for two hexes. Did he just lose like that? Hope he didn't. No, he didn't. Just good play from him. Good play from him. Where is he going with that one? Guess from my base or one of these. Yeah, there's no harpoon ship, so it's uh, kind of um, annoying. It's a really close game. He knows what he's doing. He's turning my base, turning my barracks, turning a lot of things. Uh, it's quite unfortunate. I would not want to leave my commander there. So here, I could have used both of my Sky Riders to block off the retreating path of Sedge and try to maybe snipe him off. I didn't think about it in-game, but looking back, I think that's what I should have done. So I could position my Sky Riders like that, block his path, and then build another Harpy so that I could finish him off next turn. Okay, Alchemist, I guess, I kind of have to, maybe I, uh, maybe I put it short, didn't uh, put it as far as I wanted to go. Sunny. I'm not gonna go for the harbor. It's too late now. Right now, let's do whatever I can to cover for my units. for sure uh, I'm saving up I think I'll save up Merfolk is not gonna do me good here I 
But I did want to put my commander there to threaten the potential to snipe his commander off with my commander and the hexes. But I thought that was the risky play, so I didn't go for it. Wanted to cover my base and cover the. Just want to cover my barracks. I could have moved it up now that I thought about it. What did he do? Okay, he hit one of my merfolk. Okay. More merfolk. Okay. Um, merfolk. Does mer I can't tell. Ah. Uh, not overview codex. That's merfolk. They do. 15. Okay. Can't really tell because because of the units. I'm going to build my own dragon here. Try to snipe off his commander. He moved his back, so good for me. Because I could go aggressive on his now. Because I could block off his path. Uh, I could block at least here. Wouldn't be in range of... Oh, I don't have enough for a dragon. Because I don't have this city. Okay, that's unfortunate. Okay, what is the range? It will be snowing soon. Hmm. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> can't can't lie. Could get rid of his pikeman, but it's worth it. Anti air is invaluable right now. It's a second alchemist. Second alchemist. Hmm. What am I gonna do with my Sky Riders? I do have enough for a dragon next turn. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous as to what's going to happen right now. He might heal with his he might heal his commander. Right now, I'm just threatening to do any damage to the dragon. Yeah, he does heal, which is what he should do. So it's a really odd game because the commander's up here with no support. And then the unit's down here. Ah, dang. Got rid of my merfolk. All right.
height. This is a big, big hex play. Ballista's paying off for itself. Because there's one dragon. It's just being a pain. There's no harpoon ships either. So any tile here is just free. Free uh free movement for the dragon. Be interesting what he does with this. He did let his dragon come into archer range. Two archers for a dragon. Same with the harpy. Harpy can hit the dragon. Um, Alright. Snowing, big advantage for me, right? No, it's not, because I can't hit the, can't hit this anymore. Sucks. Sucks a lot. Thirty percent, three percent. I can't hit that. Thirty percent for this. Is it worth it? Let's see what he does if I get a dragon. I'm thinking dragon might not be the best move here. I'm thinking of a ballista dragon threatens his okay ballista is the safe play dragon is the risky play trying to go for a commander ballista or dragon I'm gonna go for a dragon Try to block him off. Oh, uh, what? Oh no. I ran out of time. Because I could have blocked him. Oh, uh, man. I ran out of time. Yeah, he has a better position now with his commander.
I don't think that's what he wanted to do. My... He threw away his dragon. Basically threw away, threw away his dragon. I don't think that was a... Uh... No, that was not good. Because he's calculating my range of the archers with the snow effect too. So which means on my, on my turn, I would have one extra range. Because right now it shows that it's not range of the, the dragon. Okay, he's moving his forces up, which is, uh, which is normal, because, I mean, I have a big threat with the dragon. More knights, okay, more merfolk, alright. So what I could do now is just, instead of committing to his, committing to his, um, uh, Commander, I could just back off. Right? Guess I could get a crit. That's a <laughs> that's a free dragon. So now I need to build up my merfolk, build up my pikemen. I just need to get these out of range. Just need to get these out of range. Dang it. I keep messing up my position. I meant to put my soldier there instead. Okay, I have 18 seconds. Back off. Just spook him a little bit. I hope, okay. Whew. That was a long match. Alright, good game. Good game to a uh, dot. It was a really, really intense match until the dragon was kind of, the dragon kind of just gave itself away. Oh well.